to get green for gadgets in tonight's segment two. Chance. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. With a Bluetooth attached to his ear, Doug Taylor's always ready for the next phone call. When it comes to his electronic gadgets, he's always ready to save some money, too. And it paid off really well for me, and it's, it's gravy. It's easy to do. Doug first tried this out when a friend sent a text saying a local store was giving credit for cell phones. I ran straight down there and looked up and found out what the deal was, and they were offering just a little under $200 for a... 3GS. So Doug traded his in and got a new iPhone 4. He only needed to pay an extra 16 bucks. I was concerned about the data, but they, you know, wiped out the data on the phone whenever I turned it in. Radio Shack is just one of several retailers and websites that give green for gently used gadgets. In this case, store credit. I think it's a great idea because it helps people know that they have money in their products. Megan Kennedy manages the store at Tulsa Hills. She says the top five gadgets Radio Shack gives credit for are phones, MP3 players, GPS units, cameras, and laptops. And gaming systems are big at some retailers. Megan says you can bring your gadgets into the store to be checked out and appraised. Most appraisals range from zero to a couple hundred bucks, with newer phones being the highest and other gadgets in the five to thirty dollar range. Here, Megan tells us how they arrive at the value of a GPS unit. Well, we would look for and make sure the screen isn't damaged, make sure that it does power on, make sure that it has all the megapixels in it, and make sure there's no heavy scratches or dings in it. You don't even have to come into the store to find a gadget's value. You. They can do it online at home, get a rough estimate of what they, they can get for it. Some retailers' online trade-in programs allow customers to get a prepaid label to send their gadgets in with free shipping, then get a gift card. It's similar to web-based trade-in programs like gazelle.com. In this case, you sell your gadget outright and get a check gift card, or PayPal payment. It was a real simple, easy process. And while Doug was amazed at how much he got for his phone, he was a little disappointed in the value of his other electronics. I took in a, a small uh, iPod Nano to see what it was worth, and ended up I felt like I could sell that myself on eBay for more than what they were offering. Now what happens to all those gadgets you get green for? Some will be refurbished or used for parts. Those that can't be used, we're told, will be disposed of properly. So when it comes to those gadgets, your wallet, and the environment, you can get a little green while being green. Pete Knutson, 2 News, works for you.